5x minus 4 times x minus 6 is equal to minus 11. So, we have parentheses. And whenever you have parentheses, you probably want to get rid of those first. So if you have a combination of parentheses, fractions, and decimals, I would say go after those parentheses first. And typically what that means is we have a number multiplied uh, with everything inside the parentheses. That means we need to distribute the negative 4 over the x and the minus 6. So let's do that first. So we have 5x. Now we have a minus 4 times x. And so minus 4 times x is minus 4x. And we have a minus 4 times a minus 6. Remember, when we multiply a negative times a negative, we get a positive. So that's a positive 24 equals minus 11. Now we have an equation, just like the examples we saw before, with number 1 no longer necessary. So step number 1 is simply there to turn something that has fractions, decimals, or parentheses into something that has none of those. And then you just follow the next five steps, just like you did before. So the next step says move all the terms with the variable to the left, and oh, they're already there, so we don't need to do that. That's done. Next step, move all the constant terms to the right. We have one over here. That moves to the right. And again, it's a positive 24. That becomes a negative 24. So we have 5x minus 4x equals minus 11 minus 24. Next step says combine like terms. 5x minus 4x is x. Minus 11 minus 24 is minus 35. And the next step is no longer necessary. It says divide both sides by a numerical coefficient, but on the left side we have a 1x. So there's our answer. We're done. Okay, let's try this with another problem. How about this one? 4x, and let me draw a line so I can separate the two. 4x minus 4 times 2x minus 8 equals 13. Okay. We have parentheses. Step number one is necessary. Let's get rid of these parentheses by distributing the negative 4 over these two right there. So we have a 4x minus 4 times a positive 2x is a minus 8x. A minus 4 times a minus, minus 8 is a positive 32. Remember, when you multiply negative times a negative, you get a positive, And that equals 13. Next step, move all the constant terms. Oh, no, move all the uh, terms with the variable to the left. They're already here. We can skip that. Step number three, move all the constants to the right. So we have 4x minus 8x equals 13 minus 32. Always remember, when you cross the equal sign, the sign changes. So from a positive to a negative. Then we combine like terms. 4x minus 8x is a minus 4x equals 13 minus 32 is a minus 19. You may say, oh, how does he do that so quickly? Well, what I do is this. I have minus 32. I add first 10 to that. That becomes minus 22. Then add another 3 to that. That becomes minus 19. So if I do it one step in, at a time in my head, it's not so bad. So we combine like terms. The next step is divide both sides by the numerical coefficient right here, minus 4. Divide the right side by minus 4. This cancels out. We have x equals ooh, a minus divided by a minus. Remember, just like with multiplication, when we divide a number, a negative number by a negative number, we get a positive number. So this becomes a positive 19 over 4. And it doesn't look like we simplified that any because 4 does not divide evenly into 19. So there's our answer for that problem. All right. So hopefully you're beginning to feel comfortable with parentheses. Uh, let's do one more, just for good measure. The line there, separate them. How about this? 13 plus 15x equals, how about uh, 3 times 3 plus 4x? 3 plus 4x. OK, we'll put the parentheses on the other side. Uh, again, first step is get rid of the parentheses. We do that by distributing the 3 with both terms inside the parentheses. The left side doesn't change, 13 plus 15x. And one of the great things about having this systematic approach is that you leave everything else alone 
as you do one step at a time. Just makes it a lot easier to work with. So we don't do anything on the left side and here we multiply 3 times 3 which is 9 and 3 times 4x is 12x. So now we have gotten rid of our parentheses, we don't have fractions, decimals, move on to the second step, move all the terms with the variable to the left, I have one here, that's already in the right place, I have one there, I must, I must move that over here. So we have 13 plus 15x minus 12x equals 9, the 9 stays on the right side. Remember, when you cross the equal sign, the sign changes to a negative. Then I move all the constants to the right, so I have 15x minus 12x equals 9 minus 13. Then I combine all like terms, step number 4, 15 minus 12 is 3x, 9 minus 13 is minus 4. Next step, divide both sides by the number in front of the variable, the numerical coefficient. Cancels out, x equals minus 4 thirds. Okay, so there's some good examples of how you deal with parentheses in your equations.